murdering. Uh, Ahmaud Arbery will be asking the 11th Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals to throw out their hate crime convictions uh, that were returned by a jury uh, in a trial in Brunswick in 2022. Attorneys for father and son Greg and Travis McMichael, as well as their neighbor William Roddy Bryan, say their clients uh, chased Arbery because they mistakenly believe he was a criminal, not because of his race. Travis McMichael's appeal argues a technicality, saying prosecutors failed to prove that Arbery was pursued and killed on public streets, as stated in the indictment used to charge the three men. Prosecutors say it was Arbery's race that influenced the defendants to consider Arbery suspicious. Joining us now is the president of the Atlanta chapter of the NAACP, but also of the Georgia State Conference, uh, Gerald Griggs. Gerald, glad to have you here. I mean, look, I mean, first of all, there were state charges as well as federal charges uh, yes. for these for these white races. And look, they're trying to get out, but I, it's look, the, the feds did an excellent job laying this thing out. Uh, I doubt they're going to be able uh, to gain any traction with the Court of Appeals. Yes, we feel the same way, but we want to make sure that we are present to make sure we underscore the feelings of the community here in Georgia about the race, the hate crime uh, conviction, as well as the state crime conviction. And so it's important that we convene tomorrow. Their groups, Black Voters Matter, the Transformative Justice Coalition, and of course, the Georgia State Conference of the NAACP, just to name a few, will be present uh, both outside the courthouse and inside the courthouse to make sure uh, that Mr. Arbery is remembered uh, for what happened, but ultimately remembered for the justice that continues to be sought and his family's looking for 100 percent justice. And that's what we are calling for tomorrow. Uh, and again, to tomorrow, uh, they are appealing the federal case. That's correct. Got it. Yeah, just, uh, just a federal case. And the, to be clear, we were there for the trial. They presented the racial animus evidence, and it was convincing. Text messages, phone conversations, uh, testimony from other people about situations that involved race for these three defendants, and a jury quickly convicted them on the federal hate crime violation as well as the state level charge. Uh, and so, again, this is taking place tomorrow. What time? And you got a coalition of folks who are going to be there. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. in front of the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, which is in Atlanta, Georgia, is at 56 Forsyth Street. We will be there with the family of Ahmaud Opry and all of the supporters that have been pushing this case from the very beginning. You have to remember, uh, back in February of 2020, it took 74 days for the world to know anything about this case. We want to make sure the family feels supported and the memory of, of our dear brother Ahmad continues to live on in justice as we continue to run with Ahmad. And folks, uh, remember, it was in August of 2022. Go to my iPad. Uh, where a federal judge sentenced them. Uh, Travis McMichael was sentenced to life in prison plus 10 years. Gregory McMichael was sentenced to life in prison plus seven years. And William Roddy Bryan was sentenced to, sentenced, sentenced to 35 years in prison for committing federal hate crimes and other offenses uh, with the killing of Ahmaud Arbery. Uh, Gerald, we still appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, brother.